before, before we do transition out of the NFL, we you know we got to give our props to uh, Eric Bieniemy and the amazing job that he's done. Um, and the reason I bring him up is because I'm getting a little bit nervous now because I'm seeing all of these coaching hires in the NFL. I see Urban Myers down in Jacksonville. Uh, the Falcons have have brought somebody in. The Jets have, are doing interviews right now. And well, the Jets got their coach. Yeah, they got they yeah. got Robert Salah oh. from from the 49ers defensive coordinator. Okay, so now the job pool is <laughs> shrinking up right now, and I'm you know I, I I've been saying I'm going to be real upset if Eric Bieniemy is not a head coach in this football uh, league next season unless he chooses not to be. Then that's that's something else. But he's just done a, an amazing job for the past couple of years, and he's probably had the best offense in the NFL maybe the past three years mm -hmm. in in football. So I really want to see him get, get that job. And a, there's a, a bit of a catch twenty two here because you can't really bring guys in while they're still playing. So the deeper the Chiefs go, makes it a little bit harder for Eric Bieniemy to get picked up by another team. Um, but I am really looking forward to seeing how the thing plays out because he is one of the better coaches and he does deserve a head coaching job. So, I, and I completely agree, he deserves the job, a job, I should say. Uh, we've seen other head uh, offensive coordinators get head coaching positions who didn't have the track record that he has as yes. an offensive coordinator. He's on his way to possibly a second Super Bowl run. But you're right, the interview part of it becomes tough, and that's why I didn't understand why some of these teams are rushing to hire a guy yeah. because. They still and and not just Eric Bieniemy. There are a lot of good assistants that are still out there, you know, waiting for opportunities. Leslie Frazier, who's the defensive coordinator for the Bills, a former head coach as well. He's probably going. He's probably going to move up on a lot of people's uh, list in yeah. terms of interest and in wanting to hire him as a head coach. So, I think Eric Bieniemy deserves a shot right now. I think the best job might be that Chargers job, yes. as we talked about, because of Justin Herbert. We we've mentioned it before. Um, but ultimately, just let the man get an interview, man. Bring him into the building and, and see what he's about and give him the opportunity to show you that he can do the job. And this might be something that the NFL needs to change uh, moving forward because of situations like these, just to open up the interview process. I mean, obviously, it's just your choice whether you want to take it because you do have a lot of things going on um, as far as if your team is still playing. But I think they're at a level where it wouldn't even matter if he you know, did a, a Zoom interview or some, just anything just to, like, you know, put, have him in the, in the mix of what's going on with all of these coaching hires. But, again, we'll keep you guys posted. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Real 